today I'm going to show you how you can take this and this and even this and build your stash of images and words to use in your journal. Let's get started. What questions I get asked is where I find my images. Now, I've done a couple videos where I've shown, gone through magazines and shown you how I pick them out. But I thought it might be fun today to take three random magazines, real simple, Marie Claire and Oprah, and go through them and show you where I find my images. Now, it's simple to find images in like Somerset Magazine or Flow or even Daphne. Um, they're the images in those are all great, but you have to dig a little in some of these so that you can see the images. And so what I did was I went through these in the interest of time and marked potential images that I wanted to go through with you and show you why I picked them. So let's start with real simple. I've got my tools. I've shown you these before. This helps me frame and makes things a little bit easier to see. So I have a larger one kind of a smaller one, and then this new one that sort of looks like washi tape um, right inside there. So let's get started on the real simple. So in this particular case, there would be two things that I would look at. Uh, in particular, these guys, I think they would be good to have. Plus, I like these words. Stop sign, be good to have. I like this woman. I think she'd be great to... Uh, cut out into something. And I've basically what I do when I go through, if there's anything that causes me to stop and pause for a moment, I'm probably going to cut it out. This guy would be great. I would love him coming off the side of a page. This little girl would be cute. This I think would make great washi tape. You could do it straight on, you could do it like this, you could scallop, do it on a border, lots of different things with that. This lemon would be good just to come off the side of a page again. You could half it and just use half of it. And in cases like this where there's writing, then you can put something over it. I would use these words, especially check me out, I like that. Thought this would be pretty easy to do it this way, but it's a little bit harder. This little bridge would be good. And you have to pay attention to scale. Of course, everybody's journal might be a different size, but it's good to mix up the sizes so everything is not the same size. I think it makes your journal a little, little more interesting. Words like that are also good to have in your arsenal. I love these, and I would probably use these women separately, so like that. Maybe, in, maybe I'd cut the speech bubbles out separate from them and use them somewhere else. Same thing with uh, this. This would be a good one. And this guy. He'd be good too. He's kind of a little bit out of frame there. That guy. And let's see. Again, these ones are pretty, pretty easy to see. This one I think is interesting. Now you'd have to have a fairly large journal, but I love the idea of putting something in there. It could be a picture, it could be journaling, it could be several pictures. I think that's pretty great. I like that. And let's see, we're getting to the end here. The word awesome, I would cut that out. And this is another one I thought was interesting. Now, I probably wouldn't use it uh, just like this, but, <clears throat> excuse me, if you did, you know, you could just cut it off here and put things in those skillets. I think that might be interesting. Okay, on Marie Claire, I like these. I think these are really good to put in your journal or have um, to use like half circles. 
on the edge of your journal. You could even use them, you know, to cut out things that you wanted where you wanted a pop of pink. I think that would look good. This would make great washi tape. If you needed some some colors, you just like like that. Wouldn't that be cool? Can you see that? Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would look really good. You could even, well, just you could use that short short pieces that way as well. Definitely her glasses. You know I love to put glasses on things, and I think that would look really, really cool on something. This word, love, I would cut that out. More glasses. It's good to have a bunch of different sizes of glasses because you never know what you're going to need size-wise for, for those. Um, this one... It's mostly words. I like the 101 Ideas and the Rebel and even Yell. I might just keep all of those to use. Um, this, and actually I even have that in my journal. I'll insert the picture here. Um, this one would make great washi tape. You could go this way, this way, there. You could even go this way and get an interesting piece of washy looking tape. And again, there's a little 101 ideas that might be good. Uh, even graphic content you might be able to use that. On here, I would get that shoe. Sometimes you need, you know, just a little filler. And I love this shoe. I think that would be perfect. It would look great. Okay, um, here would be the words, girl boss rules, and maybe even at work if you work, journal about your job at all. Okay, I love this bus, this VW bus, and what I probably do would cut it, would be to cut it in half, something like that, and use that in my journal. Probably wouldn't use the whole thing. And this would be great washi tape. Uh, probably the words here and the letters, if you keep uh, letters. And on here, I think it was the, the image, or excuse me, the, the words changed everything and her idea. I like those. I'm always on the, on the hunt for good phrases. Uh, what I love about me would be a good phrase. Some of these magazines are really good about phrases. This one has so much interesting color. I just, I love it. I, there are several pages. I'm not sure exactly how I would use them, but I would definitely cut them out and hang on to them and use them somewhere. Look at that color. It would be fantastic. You could do really cool stuff with that. And the last one would be these. Again, I think these would be great to use in half circles on your page. You could, you know, just put them on the edge like that. So there's that one. And the final one is Oprah, which again, a lot of phrases in, in the Oprah magazine that you could keep. I like all of these pictures. And they're good size, the size is kind of perfect for a journal, so you could use those. These are good because they're small, so I thought those might be worth keeping. I love these legs. Um, I think they would be good coming off the bottom of a page, or you could turn them around and have them coming from the top, just be like standing. And then live your best life, of course, would probably be a good one to always have in your arsenal. I think I'm getting a lot of glare here. Um, this bowl would be good. And that image right there. Look at all the glasses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I would cut those out. 
that tree. You could probably use some part of it or all of it. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is a good image. This is probably a little bit cut. That will help you a little more. So that would be a good image. And uh, feeling good maybe would be something good to keep as well. Watch out. There's you know a lot of words in here that are always good. Another good image. <clears throat> That'd be perfect. Let's see. Oh, here's uh, a little larger one of the one I showed you at the beginning. This this one definitely has some possibilities, some words. Um, again, there are images on here that are good. Love these. Those would be excellent. These, great. I thought that cloud would be I thought the cloud would be just perfect to have. These drinks would make either great circles or great half circles. So I would cut those out. This one is just a wealth of, if, of uh, images. There's so much you could do with that. Where are you going? Let's eat, and again, I like these half oranges, and even this orange would be good. And the final one here would be this rose. I would cut that out. These little guys even might be good. So I hope that was helpful. Um, a couple things to think about when you do this is go through your magazines more than once. Don't just go through it one time and then stop. Uh, go through it, put it away for a couple days, a week, a month, and then go back through it again and you may find more images that you can use. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.